Okay, this is a figure, it's not Star Wars, it's Black Hole, so it's from 1979. Uh, Disney made a film, Black Hole, to try and cash in on the Star Wars hype. Uh, I saw it in 1979. At the time, uh, being nine, it, I thought it was great, but I just rewatched it. It's, it's okay, but it's a bit, when you compare it to Star, Star Wars, it's pretty weak, but... The robots are cool. The, this is the sentry robot from uh, the black hole, and it's quite articulated. It's about the same size as a Star Wars figure, and I think it's based on a Micronaut, Micronaut's body. So it's pretty articulated. It's got bendable knees, hips, twistable waist, elbows, ar wrists, and a swivel head. And it comes with one gun, which isn't doesn't look like the gun it had in the film. In the film, it had two blasters, but the gun can fit in the holster there. It's got a holster on both sides, and there's the hand. So, the Sentry was one of the bad guys in the film, and there's a black version called Star, and he's a lot more rarer to find. Uh, one of the black hole figures, the humanoid, is one of the hardest figure, action figures to find and that's worth a fortune. So, out of all the black hole figures, the humanoid is worth uh, a lot of money. So, I saw this on eBay recently, it was pretty cheap, so I grabbed it. And it was released by Mego in 1979-80. This one might, the century might have come slightly later, 1980. And then the three... Old Bob, Star, and the Humanoid would have come in slightly later, and I think they're just Italian releases. I'm not too sure about that, and that's why they're so expensive. So here you are. Looks quite cool, purple. There's another robot in this, uh, Maximilian. He looks pretty, he's pretty cool character as well. So, so that even though the script was a bit lame, the film had some cool looking villains. These robots are pretty cool and they're not too unmovie movie accurate they look quite cool i had two of these when i was a kid so i bought these in white leaves back in 90 well it's been, been 90 okay so my the memory card just ran out so i i, I bought these back in when I, back in the day back in 1979 in white leaves when it was like a department store this is a famous store in england london and now it's like a shopping mall but in those days it's like a huge department store and uh, must have gotten pretty cheap because I had two of these uh, centuries plus a few of the other characters on the, I'll show you on the back so I did actually have these when I was a kid so and I thought the film back in the t t day was pretty cool so I liked it and music's by John Barry so the music's really good in the film so if you've never seen it it's worth checking out and there you can see the gun it's stuck between his legs and that is thus rather suggestive. Um, let's have a look at the back. There's the black hole at the bottom. They actually go inside. Okay, this is the back of the um, black hole Mego figure, Sentry, and it says the black hole collect all Mego's fantastic action figures for your own adventures into the future. And you've got the characters. So you've got Vincent, I think I had him when I was a kid, he's, he's voiced by the guy, what's his name, a Roddy McDowell, I think, he did the voice, he was in uh, Planet of the Apes anyhow. And then you've got um, Dr. Kate McRae, beautiful astrophysicist, uh, you've got Dr. Hans Reinhardt, he's the main villain in the film he's like the crazed scientist who wants to plunge the ship the Cygnus into the black hole and you've got Maximilian uh, he looks really cool he's a huge monster robot and his arms have blades on them which can rip people to the shreds and you've got the Captain Dan Holland he's the command pilot he's the sort of main hero uh, played by Robert Forrester uh, there you are, and his ship's called the Palomino. 
Then you've got Ernest Borgnine as Harry Booth, the troublesome reporter. And you've got Charles Pizer. He's like his Captain Holland's sidekick. And then you've got Dr. Alex Durant, Durant chief scientist. And he's played by, who is it, Anthony Perkins? Yep, Anthony Perkins. So these are the first wave of figures, so the century came slightly after this, and he's not shown on the back. Um, out of this, these ones, what do we, I think I had Vincent, I think I must have had uh, Holland and Pizer, and I can't remember if I had any others across the two centuries. So that's your Amigo. 1979-80 black hole figures and so nice back this is their sort of Disney slant on Star Wars trying to get a piece of the action the film didn't do very well ok so that's your black hole figure 1979-80 Disney Amigo and there's the century Looks pretty cool. So there you are. Not Star Wars, Black Hole. Okay. If you like this, rate and subscribe. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Bye.